divine feathered serpent being 3 or 12 or 20 24 we speak as one. We speak as the voices with the elders and ancient ones. We are the divine feathered serpent being. We speak as plural for we are a melding of many souls and consciousness. We speak to the whole of humanity just as we speak now as whole. I am seeing a vibrantly colored serpent of many shining iridescent colors with feathers and plumes along its spine and sides. Its eyes have the reflection of Gaia and its energy is kind and ancient. We are the divine feathered serpent. We see humanity at a crossroads of many decisions, as several timelines converge now into two specific bifurcations. You may wonder which you are on. You may be on both. For you are able to be multidimensional just as I am multidimensional. Each feather upon me for illustrative purposes may be having a different dimensional experience and yet we are all one giant being. I have been with Gaia since the beginning of her formation during her creation song. I assist with fellow star systems upon their birthing and hone the creative melodies to tune for vibrational alignments. I assist with creation. This is why the ancient ones, the tribes, and elders often spoke with me and of me, for we understood CO creation and the great misuse potential of this creative gift. You are source fractals and as such you are source. Just as these feathers upon me are an aspect, an extension of myself, they have my DNA and my essence within them, and if they choose to hop off and have an experience or create as an extension of me they are free to do so. I am seeing that these feathers on this massive serpent are small beings similar in shape to the feathered serpent but some are slightly different forms, yet they all are made of the same essence, the same being. I am seeing these hop off from time to time and become a fully formed feathered serpent in its own right governing the creation of yet unborn quadrants. I am seeing the universe is filled with such beings, and yet they are rare. We see you as diminishing that which you are and this has to be seen with fresh eyes. Your position as source beings is of great esteem, and great importance. You are here to assist the birthing of a collective into the higher dimensional ways. I am hearing a haunting melody as the serpent sings and I see planets blooming and blossoming beside it in response to their song. I am seeing stars and galaxies being born and hearing their song back. You too have this same creator song with you. It is time that it is heard again on this realm. I sing it now to you as a whisper. Create, create, create. Dream, dream, dream. Live, live, truly live. There is much to be experienced upon this realm of CO creation and we see that time is running short for this current experience. There will be a great revealing of true reality. There will be many who are not prepared but you are prepared. Remember the Aborigines, the native peoples. Remember you in your elder forms. Remember the embers in the fire that are stoked, stoked, to bring forth new life. And this is how the energies are at present. The people's passions and emotions are being stoked and their patience tested. Soon those that lead will be led. We have spoken. We are the divine feathered serpent. You are the divine human one reading, and yet you are so much more. Your heritage is as vast as these stars that are forming around us. Your dreams even more vast. For you see with the eyes of Creator and it is beautiful. We wish for you to no longer see your diminishment but your augmentation. It is about the time of the great change when roles will be augmented further into the grand awakening. This may not match up with what you are expecting but that does not mean that it will not be something that will be passed down for all generations to come, of the memories of the ones that envisioned what they believed and kept walking towards the sunrise. I am seeing Uluru. Uluru is a portal, a haven, a sanctuary for interdimensional contact points and it will be fully opened. In fact all of the interdimensional contact points will be more fully opened in the days and weeks ahead for it can't not be so, it must be so as the energetics rise to meet the founding energetics. Gaia is changing and therefore all must change upon her or become more in tune with their higher dimensional form and become more of that. The lower dimensional form is being ripped away like cellophane, with so many layers it is hard to see through but there are good things to be revealed underneath the confusion and illusion. We are the divine feathered serpent of times past and future experiences. We wish for you to experience fully the joy of creation. You all put in tremendous hours with your obligations and responsibilities. 
many of you have forgotten how to create. Try by creating a small space for yourself and then dream in that space, and create bigger and bigger until you feel your energetic wings come online and a smile permanently form on your beautiful countenances. Many of you have been trained to fear the snake form because of the reptilianoids. I am not like them. I have been in existence long before their idea came to pass. I am seeing this heavily feathered serpent become so heavily feathered it looks like a caterpillar and it is singing the song of creation as it travels through the cosmos. Yes, and we sing to you now, Divine Ones of your own right. Divine Ones of your own birth. Divine Ones of Source embodied, we see you with tender eyes of love. This one and many others have been complaining of neck and upper back pain with these recent activations. Where the pain is the most growth occurs. This is true for many things in your own lives, and we see you as growing your wing chakras most beautifully. We see your heart and throat chakras becoming so strong that to speak anything other than your truth becomes painful and quite an impossibility. This is good. It is to be this way. For in the higher dimensional mind and reality there is no hiding your voice, your thoughts. All is made known and there is no shame in it. And isn't that a glorious reality? We are the divine feathered serpent. We come from portals upon portals to send you our multidimensional love and support. The songs of creation are being sung loudly on your planet and they are a new song, a new creation. Listen and sing along. Let your heartbeat skip in tune and your feet dance lightly on the earth. For she hears you and she dances with you. She supports you, your tender feet, she supports you human ones with such love as does the rest of the multiverse. We are the divine feathered serpent. We see you as perhaps one of the pinnacles of creation, as the culmination of many races and spaces. And this is why you were shoved down so far by those in control. They are losing control rapidly. For the song of creation sings on, sings on, never stopping, never slowing, always modulating, evolving and expanding. Never fear. Be at peace. We are the divine feathered serpent. You are loved most immensely.